Hi guys, this is Mitch of All Trades and welcome back to my channel. this video I'm going to talk about six ways to get the best out of your orientation as an ICU nurse. So I've been off orientation for about two months. That's right, your girl has been working on her own for two months and it's scary but I'm really like proud of myself. Whew, I didn't think, <laughs> I didn't think I was going to make it this far. I was scared to even deal with very very sick patients by myself but i'm truly truly grateful to god that i've been able to handle it for two months independently i've been able to take care of patients and actually you know make sure that they don't die on me you know what i'm saying like i've been i've been really good so um from my experience because my orientation was not like a typical orientation it was kind of like here and there so from my experience I just want to give you guys tips on how to get the best out of your orientation so before I start um, just a brief background I had five a total of five preceptors during my orientation because of my scheduling and my actual preceptor scheduling I ended up with five different people so I'm dealing with five different like types of leadership five different types of teaching methods and um, I wouldn't say it was like a bed of roses but I believe that from that I was able to learn so much and that's what I'm gonna share with you guys today so tip number one is to focus on what you need to learn and block out the extras now if any of you guys have been working in the nursing setting for more than like six months you know that um, there are gonna be so much going on a lot of unnecessary stuff going on in the unit either there's some like drama going on or there's some kind of like clicks um, in the unit or maybe some kind of animosity between co-workers whatever the case is whatever your um, unit looks like um, one thing that I've learned is that I need to, when I whenever I go to work during my orientation I just focus on what I came there for which is to learn <laughs> To get the knowledge that I need to so that I can be independent on my own. It's so easy for people to drag themselves into that or find themselves dragged into that kind of thing or um, just to fit in they try to like blend into like finding clicks or um, engage in gossiping or whatever the case is. I've realized that that can distract you from your actual learning experience. As a new um, nurse in a new unit it's important that you learn the culture of that unit and whatever distracts you from learning that or whatever might be a barrier from learning that i would suggest to block it out at least for your orientation experience because you never get that experience ever again once you're done with orientation you are on your own so it's best to focus on what you came here to do it's best to get the knowledge that you need and just block out the extras besides like you don't want like well me personally like i have so much going on for me to engage in work drama or in work like clicks and like gossip and stuff like that so one thing i learned is just to focus on what i came to do and that was it <laughs> tip number two is to always ask your preceptor for feedback um so personally like normally i will always come to work just Breeze and breeze out and like try my best to just tiptoe around things because I was just so nervous. I was so scared. Like I wouldn't deny it. I was always so scared coming to work. Um, I was afraid to touch patients and everything like that. So I was just like come in, go to, go to work and just leave and just like try and just survive through everything. And um, I was just like, you know, it's okay. And... <laughs> I think uh, one day during my lunch break, I was just curious and I just asked my preceptor, oh, so like, what do you think about like my performance so far? Like, what do you, what do you think about how I'm doing well? Da, 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 da. Cause my preceptor, my main preceptor, she's no, she's kind of like a quiet, more reserved person. So I just wanted to ask her just to make conversation, just to see like where I'm at in comparison, like to what an ICU level nurse should operate at. And then she was like, you didn't do this, you didn't do that, da, 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 da. like she had a whole speech <laughs> and it was just so awkward. I just started laughing because I'm just like, wow, like I, I'm glad that I asked because I wouldn't have known. Um, or even if like, even if what she said was true, which it was, I would have probably thought, oh, it's only me that can see that part. But 
it was very important that I asked her for feedback. One, because being that she's my preceptor, she needs to know, we need to have that communication of where my level of expertise is, what I'm proficient in and what I'm not proficient in. And I think it was very good that I asked for feedback. Um, you might come across a preceptor that already does that on the regular, but my preceptor wasn't really someone like that. So I had to ask her. And ever since then, I always kind of like debrief with her after every shift just to see how I did on things and what I can improve on. And that's something that I would really recommend to any new nurse going into a new unit uh, with your preceptor. Make it a habit to see, like just to evaluate yourself and have her or him evaluate you and see where you're at. At least you will have an idea of what you need to learn more, what you need to focus on, what you need to hone in on, and what you're really good at. Tip number three is to always ask questions. Now for me, I'm not scared of asking dumb questions. Well, not anymore. <laughs> Um, when I started working in the ICU, the first thing that I said to myself was like, listen, I need to, no matter, I don't care how I'm going to get it, but I need to get the answers to any questions that I have because I don't want to be like responsible for any like mishaps. <laughs> so I was always had it in mind like, you know, I'm going to ask questions when I need to ask questions. I shouldn't be afraid to ask questions. And that's my tip to you to always ask questions, questions to the doctors, questions to other nurses, questions to your manager, questions to your tech, questions to the unit clerk. Like you need to know how things are being operate, like how things are operating in that unit. Like I said earlier, the culture of the unit is very important and it's good that you, it's important that you learn what the culture is. Um, I can't apply the culture of my old unit into this new unit because I will just look like a fool. <laughs> And it probably won't really like blend in because I was working more on the med surge area while this is more of like an intensive care, critical care floor. So always ask questions. Oh, just out of curiosity, why did you order that? Oh, just out of curiosity, why did you do it that way? Oh, out of curiosity, who do you call for like ask, ask, ask. And I'm pretty sure <laughs> people probably looked at me like I was dumb, but it's better to ask questions and know it than to just try and finesse it and not know it and make a mistake later on always ask questions tip number four is to be helpful to your co-workers now this implies like i mentioned to your fellow nurses to the techs to the unit clerk um one thing that i realized was that being that i came in as a orientee and i had my preceptor my preceptor was already used to the floor she was already friends with everybody so you know whenever we needed help as a whole she was the one to inquire for help but I had to realize that when I'm by myself, I'm going to need to work with people independently as an independent person because before I was attached to my preceptor. So um, what this meant for me was learning how to help others. Um, people wouldn't give you help if you don't help them. So having that very good relationship with your coworkers is very important because when you're done with orientation, you are going to be on your own. If you need help, you're gonna to have to ask people for help. Your preceptor is not gonna do it for you. So it's good that you learn how to have a, a healthy relationship with everyone so that you can, when the, when the time comes for you to need help, you would have help by your side. Tip number five uh, to get the best out of your orientation is to write things down and study when you get home. When I first started my job um, in the trauma unit, I never <laughs> wrote anything down I just like came to work whatever I learned I learned and that was that um, I would say maybe the floor didn't challenge me enough because working in the ICU no one had to tell me <laughs> to write things down um, and even one of my five preceptors she also like kept telling me that you know you always have to study when you get home and that's something that I had to learn like studying what I've seen studying the new things that I've learned new procedures new protocols new drugs like studying them when I get home there's this YouTube channel that I watch and it's called ICU Advantage and basically it's everything that you need to know everything that you need to know ICU related be it um, drugs cardiac medication sedation medications um, how to use like a continuous dialysis machine, like the CRRT, how to use like 
just different things and um, things that you would see mostly in the ICU and I um, kept watching those videos kept trying to get my, familiar with those medications and what they do and how to titrate and just just kept learning and that's not something I was really expecting to do because personally I just felt like work did not require for me to like study like I was in school but in the nursing field like everything requires knowledge and you can only get knowledge from learning and reading and watching videos that can give you the knowledge that you need so I will always recommend to write things down things that because when you come in there's gonna be a lot of unfamiliar things write them down and study them when you get home last but not least tip number six is to keep an open mind and an open eye for new things to learn there was a common thing that people told me when I walked when I started working in the ICU and this tip was that I need to be teachable and what that means is that I need to be more open-minded to allow people to teach me stuff it's easy for people to walk in and think they already know it all think that they've seen it they've seen that they've done this they've done that they already know what to do um, and I don't care how long you've been working as a nurse like I mentioned earlier when you walk into a new unit it's a new culture that you're getting into and it's important that you humble yourself just tone it down a little bit and be willing to learn be open to learning um, the new things that you're gonna be seeing in this new unit that you're gonna enter so um, that's something that I try to do I try to keep an open mind and of course it can be a struggle because every nurse feel like they already know what they know but um, it takes a certain level of humility to really just be like okay let me shut up and just listen to what they're saying because there might be something that I probably don't know from this think whatever it is so that's my tip as time went by as I was in, on orientation I like learned these things some of them I had to learn from experience some of them I had to learn from just people telling me um, some of them I had to learn from mistakes but um, it, as an accumulation of all these things and my entire experience uh, these are the main things that stood out to me and I just wanted to share with you guys so let me know if this helped you. Let me know if you have any more questions. I'll be so willing to answer them. Um, make sure that you like, you comment, your thoughts, you subscribe to this channel, and just be on the lookout for more videos. I know I've been gone for like two months, but I'm really trying to be more consistent. I wanna put out more for you guys, and I really appreciate all the love and support you guys have been giving me. Um, it means so much, and it really motivates me to put out so much more for you guys. Um, also, follow me on Instagram and Twitter and all my social media platforms. I'm gonna put them down in the description box so you guys can see it. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Stay blessed.